Let's start off by naming our file flag and making our artboard six by four inches. Click create. All right, and here's our goal for today. We're making this flag, as you can see, has four of these rectangles on the background and has on the, and on the front we have this design and the purpose of today is to be able to use gradients, gradients is a color that starts out F1 and then as you can see, it starts fading into another. So this will start fading in because a red color, then it'll start fading out to yellow. And over here we have a darker blue fading out to a light blue. So let's get on that. First thing will be to create the background. As you can see, the background has these four squares in the back. So let's grab our square tool. Let's make our square. I'm going to click on the artboard. It's going to be 1.5 by 4. Grab my selection tool, move that to the right place. I'm going to go to the properties tab and underneath appearance, we go to stroke. We Blank that out because it doesn't have a stroke. We're going to go to fill and right here you see how this is white and it fades into black. Let's click on that. That's our gradient. Let's go to gradient options. And I'm going to double click on this circle. There's a few options to select our color. We have our color and our swatches and our color picker down here. I'm going to go to swatches so I can select a, just a basic color. I'm going to go with this red right here. And on the right hand side where we have the black circle right here, the other option for the gradient, I'm going to go with the yellow. As you can see how it's fading in from red to yellow. The only problem we have at the moment is that it's fading in from red to yellow from left to right. And we want it to fade in from the bottom red to the top as yellow. So we go to our angle here and we select 90 degrees. And as you can see, it's fading in from red to yellow as it goes up. So that's good right there. Let's close that out. Now let's make our next square. For that, let's grab our rectangle tool. Let's click on the artboard. It's already 1.5 by 4. Those are the dimensions we need. Click OK. It probably is going to make it similar to what you did before. That's what Illustrator does. Let's place it right here and right next to it. No stroke. We need to go to our fill options or gradient options right here. Let's click on our gradient tab. And for this one, we wanted a darker blue. Let's go with this blue right here and just select the blue that you think is closest on your screen. It's going to depend on screens. So just pick something that's close. Let's go to our yellow option. That was a light blue. That looks about right. So there we go. Now let's grab our selection arrow here at the top, our black arrow. Let's select both of these. Copy, paste. Let's place it right here on the correct spot in our artboard. And that takes care of our background. Now let's go to layers here at the top right tab. Let's double click layer one and let's name it background so that we know this is our background and we don't mess with it. Let's go ahead and lock it so that now there's nothing we can do and it doesn't select it or move around as we work on our design. Okay, now that we have our background labeled and locked, let's go ahead and make a new layer down here. Let's click the plus sign. Let's Double click and let's call this design so that we know that that's our design. Don't lock it because then we won't be able to work with it. Just leave it like it is. And let's and let's take a look at the flag again, the one we're trying to recreate. And let's start off with this white design over here. All right, let's grab a rectangle tool. Let's click on the artboard. Let's make this one two by two inches. Now let's align it and we're able to move it and trying to get this with our guide so that it's aligned perfectly. There's a simpler way to align things when you want them to be centered. Let's go to our properties tab underneath align to align things perfectly in the artboard. Let's click this one right here. It horizontally aligns it in the center and then let's align it vertically. This one over here, vertical align in the center and then we have it right perfectly in the center. All right, let's get rid of the fill. It doesn't have any, so let's select none. Let's go to stroke, click on the box here for our color options, select white, and it should be one point. That's fine, let's leave it like that. Okay, so now to make this design here, even though it looks like it's all filled in, like it's one shape, it's actually nine of these squares, and they just happen to be rotated. And I'll show you how to do that. Let's select it. Let's click copy, paste. Let's paste, let's place this one right in front of it in our transform options underneath the properties tab right here. We have the angle options. Go ahead and change this one to 10 and see how that just transformed it 10 degrees. I'm going to copy and paste and I'm going to change this one to 20 degrees. 
we'll copy and paste. Let me change this one to 30 degrees. Copy, paste, and change the new one to 40 degrees. Copy, paste, change the new one to 50. Copy, paste, change this one to 60. Copy, paste, change this one the next to 70. Once again, it's already selected. Copy, paste. Let's change this one to 80 degrees. And there you go. We have nine total squares. And all we have to do to make this design here is change the stroke of each of them. So instead of going selecting one at a time and changing the stroke individually, let's go ahead and select all of the squares. Now let's go to stroke and let's change the stroke all the way till we have everything that looks like one shape and it looks like 11 was the number for me. All right. See how that looks like one big shape at the moment? That's exactly what we want. Okay, now let's work on our last design, which is that flower design looking shape. Let's go to our layers. Let's lock the design layer, which was this white design here. Let's click the plus to create a new layer. Let's double click where it says layer three and let's name this, let's go with flower. I think it looks like a flower or plant. Okay, let's go back to properties. All right, let's look at our design again. Okay, so it looks like they are maybe an ellipse with the pointy corners and then our fill is a gradient style. See how it starts off as red again and goes into yellow. Let's select our ellipse tool and let's make an ellipse. I'm not sure about this one. Let's make it um, 0 0.8. Let's go and change our height to 0.8. All right, let's change the appearance because right now it's using the attributes from the white boxes that we did. Let's go to fill. Let's change our fill to this orange one and let's get rid of this. Well, let's go with stroke with one and change the color to, uh, I believe it was a blue color. Now I'm going to zoom in closer here so I'm able to see this a lot better. Now the original design had a pointy corners here so even though this is an ellipse shape and it's round we are still able to change some of these anchor points to pointy edges so for that let's go to our pen tool this is a new one we haven't used this one click and hold and let's so sele and select anchor point tool now go back to the shape select the shape and go to the anchor point at the top and click it See how that made it pointy? Now let's go do the same thing at the bottom. Click on that one. And it's starting to look like that shape we want. Now let's just change some parts about it to make it match our original design. I'm going to, I'm going to go to the direct selection tool, the white arrow, and I'm going to bring this one down just a tad. And I'm going to bring this one down also just a little bit. That's looking good so far. I'm going to grab the direct selection tool, the black arrow, and I'm just going to increase the width a little bit. So I'm going to make this about 1.6. That looks, that looks good. Okay. Now let's mess with the fill. Let's change the fill. Now remember it was a gradient. Click on fill, click on your, on one of these gradients, go to gradient options, go to the gradient tab, click on this white gradient slider, select the red, Click on the black gradient slider and select the yellow. And we have our gradient. The only issue again, it's that's from left to right. And we want this gradient to be from the bottom up. So we want this to start off as red and go to yellow. So once again, our angles, you probably already know what to do. Change it to 90 degrees and bam. See how it starts from red and it goes to yellow. Perfect. We have our first one of these shapes. Now, I'm going to copy and paste it and I'm going to place it right here and I just want to rotate it. Same thing we did with this, the white design here, both the boxes, the squares, select this one and just rotate it. I'm going to press shift so that it locks in place right there. Bring it here, place it about right there. Same thing, copy and paste. 
Now let's rotate it, hold shift. Remember when you get those double arrows is when you're able to rotate it, hold shift so that it locks in place. Perfect. I'm going to move it right here in front of the others. Copy and paste. I'm going to move it closer to the rest and I'm going to once again rotate it by holding shift with the rotate arrow. Bring it to the right spot. About right there. Well, maybe just a little bit. Perfect. And I'm going to select all of them. I'm going to group them. I'm going to turn this tab off. I'm going to group them by selecting groups on my quick actions right here. If you don't have that, then you can just go to object group and it groups it all as one shape. All right, now let's move this to the center. Let's center it right here, right inside our white square design. Now, Let's copy and paste all of it. Copy and paste the flower, the plant shape. Let's change the angle of it now to 22. Oh, that's 33, 22. Let's copy and paste this one. Let's transform it by changing the angle this time to 44. So let's just make sure it's aligned, 44. Copy and paste one more time. Place it right there, right centered. And let's change this one to 66 degrees. And there we have it. We have our design. We have our flag. And let's just go ahead and lock this one in place. So we have a nice design.